Leading with the hips in the downswing is what today's video is all about. A cliche phrase which is thrown around but not often discussed and in today's video we're going to break it down and explore the key ingredients which are needed in order to do this efficiently so we can create nice, powerful, consistent goal swings which are really nice, simple, effective drill at the end of this video that any of you can take away and do. So, without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now there's two key things in the hips that for me I like to see in order to build up this one key ingredient which we're going to discuss a little bit later on in this video. Move number one that I like to see is when the hips start to fire. It's quite a common misconception in my opinion that when people swing to the top they fire the hips in order to begin the downswing. But this can take away from any effective and required sequencing that we want to benefit from on the way down. What we actually want to see is the hips fire just as the backswing is about to complete so the hips can recenter and go and start to see some sequencing where the hips go first, body, arms, hands, the golf club can slot in much better and we actually create much more power as well. A really good analogy I like to use is like skipping a stone or throwing a baseball, what would you do? You take a step and you go hip, body, arms, hands and that's kind of the sequencing which we will benefit from when we see a move on the way down where the hips begin to fire just as we complete the backswing and everything slots into place quite nicely from there. So when the hips fire in terms of where it fires in the swing is a massive must for number one. Move number two, we are looking at the lead hip and how it behaves in the downswing. So I like this lead hip to work down, stay low in transition before it works back and around instead of what we can see some people do when they fire the hips and essentially slide it, slide to excessively and they jar this hip and the, the hip will work to excessively up. And as you can see, that can tilt my body backwards. I can excessively shallow the golf club, get too stuck behind, and because it's too jarred, I can't clear anyway, and I can bottom out really early and see a lot of blocks and hooks from there as well. So the two main things that we like to see is this hip, or the hips in general firing, just as I'm about to finish the backswing. And as I do that, this lead hip stays nice and low before it clears back and around, and that's gonna create the one key ingredient which we're going to discuss in the following drill. Now the key word to lean with the hips correctly is separation and with this drill let me explain why. So as you can see I've got alignment stick through my belt loops here with the bulk of the stick facing out my left side, so my lead side, and I've got an alignment stick or a swing plate set up here to stop me coming over the top. So what I'm using this alignment stick for here is as a visual. So as I'm swinging back, as we say, we want the hips to fire first so I can see visually where that stick is and I want that stick to start moving kind of back and behind me whilst I'm still completing my backswing. As I'm doing that, again, I can use the stick as a visual to make sure the stick isn't going up too excessively, but it's in fact going back and around as I'm making my movement into the golf ball. And this is where this stick comes in. And this can be quite conceptual for me as well because what I will often do is I'll ask people to show me what an appropriate impact will look like and this is what I commonly see. I see the hips and the shoulders facing the same direction with people justifying that by saying I need to fully open and I need to fully rotate. Well, using that word separation, if my hips and my shoulders are facing the same direction, there is no separation from my upper body and my lower body and if you have a look at most, if not all the best players in the world, their hips will be much more open compared to their lower to upper body therefore displaying really good separation. So with this drill, use this cane as a visual to go to the top, get that cane moving back and behind just as I'm finishing the downswing. And if we can do that and come under that stick, we're therefore gonna be at impact with nice open hips, which are sequenced in a good way. I'm gonna be under the stick, so therefore I've not got my hips and shoulders kind of going together. I've seen efficient separation, the hips are fired correctly, and I see an impact that looks something a little bit like this. When my hips are nice and open, my left hip or my lead hip is cleared and out of the way, and my upper body isn't as open as my hips, which is perfectly healthy. So good sequence on the hips, good position at impact, and nice, solid, powerful, and consistent ball striking and movement patterns from there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment in the comment section down below and give me a follow on my socials. For any online or individual coaching, drop me a follow on the Skillist app, search David Atkins and drop me a message from there. But until next time, catch you on the next one.